have messed up my life over and over again. I know what it's like. But watching you do it almost on purpose, well, I, I can't be around that anymore. Can I get a large cup of coffee? Black. You were uh, Luke's campaign manager, right? Before I was suspended, yeah. Why? You didn't get caught up in the whole Snydergate thing? Snydergate? Yeah, you're saying somebody rigged the election. Oh, never happened. Kevin's just making up a rumor because he's a sore loser. Have you seen Noah? No, nah, he got a phone call and took off. Something's going down at school. I'm glad you're here, Luke. Saves me a phone call. We should talk. What did you say to him? Noah. Luke, uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Snyder, I'm waiting. some research on that treatment you're considering. Oh, really? I mean, you don't trust my fine mm. team of specialists? No, no, no. I'm sure they know what they're doing, but I don't. And I have this annoying habit of wanting to be informed. Could we please talk about something fun? Don't I get enough of this at the hospital? Humor me. No. I'm sick. You humor me. I'm trying to humor you, but it's not easy, considering I'm the only one in your life that knows the cancer has returned. Now, are you going to listen to me or not? You're very, very pushy. That's another annoying habit of mine. Fine. Today, I am declaring a moratorium on the cancer subject. We are two intelligent, grown-up human beings. We are good kissers, and I think we ought to be able to come up with something else to discuss. All right, sweetums, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> are you looking at your watch? Good heavens, are you already finding me tedious? My company's not interested. No, not at all. What? Not at all, but um, I do have another appointment, and in fact, here she is now, right on time. What is going on here? Is this some kind of an ambush? I could ask the same thing. I'll see you later. Well, of all the sophomoric things a grown man to do. And yet, we both fell for it, so what does that say about us? <laughs> What's wrong, Mother? What? I know you. Something's wrong, and Brian knows what it is. Otherwise, he wouldn't have set us up, and you wouldn't have let him get away with it. Your imagination is running wild, darling. Despite what you think, I, I do care about you. Well, but when you cut somebody off, you usually don't want to see them. I'm trying something new. I'm trying to be more understanding. You're not making it easy. So, speak now or forever hold your peace. Mother? It's come back, hasn't it? I was excited by the prospect of your candidacy, Luke. Everything I heard about you told me you'd be an excellent leader. I thought, now, here is a young man who knows how to lead by example, who actually believes in what he's saying. You have all the makings of someone who can bring about great change, Luke. If only you'd actually won this election. But that's not what happened, is it? I asked you if there was any truth to Kevin's claim that the results were tampered with. Do you remember what you said? I, I, I said no. Is there anything you want to say to me now? I just want to know what Noah told you. I was just coming to look for you. Casey, yeah, I can't talk now, okay? I'm just, uh, just going to work. Did you get a call from the dean? Because Luke did, but he said everything was okay. It's not okay, okay? Nothing is okay right now. What, what does that mean? What happened? Dean knows that Luke stole the election. 
How is that possible? Wait, did you tell her? I didn't have a choice. How could you do this? You don't know, okay? You weren't there. I know you're supposed to be there for him. I thought you loved him, I man. do love him. Then how could you not lie for him after all the times he lied for you? You know, what, what about when the ICE people were there? When you were married to Amira, he lied for months to protect you. He could have gone to jail if he had gotten caught. And you, you turn him in over a stupid election? What is wrong with you, man? It wasn't easy for Noah to tell me what he knew about the election, Luke. What did he say? He said you won by stuffing the ballot box in your favor. Do you still contend that you won the election outright? So was it like my word against his? No. There are experts we could hire to determine the validity of the election results. You bring in a whole team of people to figure that out? Do I need to, Luke? Or is Noah telling the truth? Did you steal this election? Um, they found it earlier this time, thank God. <sighs> Have you decided on your treatment yet? Um, I mean, we're not, we're not quite there yet. I have a better team of experts this time. Good. Yeah, and I'm on top of it. I'm, I'm top of it. I'm, I am. I'm not going to let this thing get the best of me. <gasps> it doesn't stand a chance. And, um, with Mr. Know-it-all over there, you know, I'm going to have more information and statistics. Of, <laughs> I'm going to know more than the oncologists themselves. <laughs> Brian has been overseeing your treatments. Oh, honey, no, I mean, he's not a male nurse or anything like that. It's just, well, he's detached, you know, so I don't have to worry about his feelings. <sighs> what about mine? I didn't want you to feel obligated to care. I'm your daughter. That's not an obligation. Oh, pussy kid. Pussy kid. Pussy kid. I am here, Mother, and I am not going anywhere. Thank you. And I'm not either. You better not. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian, <laughs> you've been confiding in him. Oh. What, what's going on there? Oh, come on, don't make this into an overly romantic situation. <laughs> well, he clearly cares about you, Mother. I mean, look at the lengths he went to to get us to talk to each other. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's the kind of guy, he has absolutely no sense of personal boundaries. <laughs> and he's the kind of guy who's the best thing to come around in your life in a long time. You think so? <laughs> Hmm. Brian? Luke, what are you doing here? I, I arranged a meeting for your mom. I wanted to see how it went. Oh, uh, she's not here? Where is she? Well, the last time I saw her, she was with your grandmother. You, um, you look, um, are you all right? Yeah. I just need to talk to her. Uh, do you know when she'll be back? What's wrong? I got expelled from school. 